In the division of GI surgery, we have three different surgeons that are performing robotic surgery, and the robot is being used to access just about every organ in the abdomen. I'm a colorectal surgeon, and so my primary focus is on colorectal cancer, and so I'm using the robot, the robot to do rectal resections, meaning remove the rectum in a patient that has colon cancer. Uh, in addition, we use the robot to treat Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. The robot can also be used to remove the gallbladder, to remove the adrenal glands, as well as multiple operations on the intestines, including bariatric surgery and ventral hernia repairs. One of the largest surgeries that I do is a total proctocolectomy, which means removing the entire colon and rectum, and that's a big surgery. And if we were to do that without the use of the robot, it would mean having an open incision, and average hospital stay would probably be between seven and 10 days. Uh, but using the robot, patients have essentially no incisions, just the small robotic incisions, and they generally leave the hospital in about four to five days. So that's a big difference. And for surgeries that aren't quite so complex, hospital stays can be very short, frequently one to three days where we used to see four to seven days. One of the things I like to tell people is that it is not a robot operating by itself. It's essentially remote control surgery where you have a robot that has more dexterity than the human hand does at the patient bedside. And then I'm sitting at a console in the room controlling the robot. We have done laparoscopic surgery for a considerable period of time, and laparoscopic surgery gives the patient a number of benefits, um, smaller incisions and quicker recovery. The problem is that a number of the more complex operations are very difficult to be performed laparoscopically or in some cases cannot be performed that way. The robot, the robot gives us added dexterity and gives us the ability to reach some of the areas of the abdomen and areas of the body that we couldn't necessarily reach laparoscopically. UAB is unique among many robotic centers in that we have specialists doing robotic surgery across all the different specialties, and there aren't very many places where you will find that. And anytime you choose somewhere where, you, where you're going to have your surgery, you want to make sure that you have the adequate support and everything that happens outside of the operating room as well, and you'll find that at UAB.